Welcome to our third topic on uh, regression diagnostics in STATA, and that is homocysticity assumption. We continue to focus on the error time as we did in the previous video about zero mean error time. And uh, the purpose of this video or this topic is to avoid and the estimation of the standard errors of the inauguration model. And um, the error term is usually said to be homochysidastic when the variance of his conditional mean given uh, X is constant for all units. And particularly the epsilon, the error term is independent of the independent variables or X. That means that we have constant variance as the value of X increase. When we don't have constant variance, then we say um, we, we say we have heterocysticity problem. And it's usually more likely in uh, cross-sectional data than final data or time series. Because in the cross-sectional data, we have different unit, different values from, um, but in panel data, we have, we can have uh, different values for different years coming from the same uh, unit. Here is a pattern showing the um, homochysidacity versus heterochysidacity uh, problem. Okay, so as you can see, we have, we have a constant pattern, meaning constant variance in the left-hand side and the right-hand side about heterochysidacity is the, the the points spread out far away from the, the line, the zero line, assuming that is uh, our um, regression line about, so we start from zero because we expect to have a mean value of zero for the error time or for the residuals. So you can see the deviation around for the first one is constant and then for the second it seems not to be constant. So here we have heterochysidacity. Okay, how do we do heterochysticity test in STATA? Just two ways you can uh, run the command called um, uh, ref. So we just plot the residual versus the predicted values of y, the, dep the dependent variable, and just observe the pattern. And then the second one is just use the Bruch and Pagan test uh, about um, constant variance of the residuals as the null hypothesis. When we have a p-value greater than 0 0.05, we accept this constant variance of the residuals hypothesis or assumption. Otherwise, we reject. And that's a heterochysticity problem. Instead, we use this post-estimation command in blue, and, um, and we can also use the former one, also called head test. So remember to run uh, OLS model before using this test. And we continue to use the 1978 automobile data set, which is already available in STATA. I want to continue to predict the factors influencing the price of a car. So you, you, this is how we run the model in STATA. And then you will see soon that both ways indicate that we have a heterocysticity problem. So now let's go to STATA and uh, do it in practice. So I look for theta. Um, here, let's start from scratch. All right, so I have my do file here. I just need to run the data set. So you run sys use, then you have the data loaded, and then I run the regression model, then I don't see because I said quietly. Let's see in Stata whether these two commands have been executed. So you see the data set loaded, and then we have the regression model also run quietly. I don't see the result. Now let us now test for heterocysticity problem. So the very first thing is to use the command as I showed, and then we, we, we do it around zero the line should pass through zero, then we run. So 
So let's see. Okay, so you can see the line passing through zero. Uh, we see that the residuals, um, we don't have constant variance of the residuals. So we can see the pattern is not evenly spread out. Okay, and this is not good. Now let's look for a formal test. We do it in the formal way. We could equally plot uh, the residual against the predicted predictors, for example, MPG or um, weight. So let's just try it again and see what pattern we have. Okay, we, we seem not to have even pattern, meaning constant variance of the residuals. We don't have constant variance. Let's try the other one, um, which is weight. Yeah, we the same pattern, uh, similar pattern like before. We don't have constant variance of the residuals. We should have the same pattern. We should not have some of the of the, the points up there and some, uh, so it should be even, evenly spread out. And that also sh uh, shows that we don't have a uh, mean value of zero. The error tens is not having mean value of zero. In other words, the residuals do not have a mean value of zero. But we can do a formal test um, using the Bruce and Pagan test. And the thing is just type a start head test. Let's run it. You see, we have a p value less than 0 0.05. And that concludes that we should reject the null hypothesis. Um, that we have constant variance. We don't have constant variance of the residuals. And that is how we conclude this um, topic. Uh, see you next in the um, how do we control for, how do we solve the problem when we don't have uh, constant variance? How do we control for that?